He's sprayed it a few times. I don't know if they're all dead yet or not. Is this electrified? Yep. That's crazy to me that like this tall fence, that's for the deer, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then this is for like bunnies or something? Yeah, and groundhogs. Bunnies and groundhogs. Yeah, and so the bunnies eat the plants, but the groundhogs, do they eat the plants too or do they just make oh, a yeah. mess? The groundhogs will put big chunks in the, in the like teeth marks and the squashes and stuff. Wow. I don't think it's doing much good. I saw a nice big rabbit in here the other day. Who ran right through the fence. Oh, so big. Oh. Okay, I'll do a little intro. Hi guys, thanks for joining me for this video today. My name is Leanne and I'm in the garden again, but this time, my mother-in-law's garden. <laughs> this is my mother-in-law, Judy, and we are going to interview her about gardening. As okay. if I know anything. <laughs> oh, okay. So, first question. Mm -hmm. What was your first gardening experience? I was thinking about that. And you know what? My dad always talked about the wonderful tomatoes he got in Jersey. And one year he decided to plant some tomatoes and he let me help him. Aww. I think that was the first thing that gave me the bug. Yeah. But we always lived in the suburbs. So that was my only. Yeah. Yeah. Is this... The only garden you've had that's like at this magnitude oh no 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 when the when the kids were here this whole thing i didn't have all these beds the no yeah i mean bed. like the space not like this year's oh. garden yeah i know you've been gardening for a while yeah. i think this is about as big as it used to be okay mm -hmm. cool so what do you the i guess the second question was answered with that first one too mm -hmm. it was what why do you garden oh. is it for pleasure or whatever. I think I just want more healthy food. I don't really trust what's out there. Yeah. So we try to we try to raise as much of our own food as we can. Mm -hmm. We haven't been always successful at it. Um, yeah, and also with children, it gave me a good way to work with them. Yeah. And train them, and so now I just keep going on because like I can't stand cucumbers from the store. Yeah. I want my own. <laughs> yeah. And I want my own tomatoes. And I, you know, I, we're trying to grow berries and doing okay. Yeah. Let's go walk through a little bit. Yeah. We don't have very many questions. Okay. They're just like discussion prompts, really. Yeah. Um, all right. So when you need gardening advice, what's your go-to? Like, who do you go to or what do you go to? The first thing I go to is the farmers that I know in the area have been gardening forever. Yeah. Then the next thing is YouTube. Yes. <laughs> I like YouTube because you can stop and go a lot. Yeah. So these are pretty short, but they have some good fruit set on them. Are these dwarf plants? They're not supposed to be. All the seed I bought this year are um, heirloom varieties. Okay. And then um, they actually spent a law an inordinate amount of time in the greenhouse. Okay. Um, I seeded them in the house, then we put up the greenhouse, I put them out there, but it was so hard to, um, to keep them growing because I hadn't transplanted them. And so I think they got stunted in the beginning. They look healthy, they just look little. Yeah, so. they're doing okay. Yeah, they, Once I Once I got them in the ground, then they really liked it. Yes, I love smelling tomatoes. Have you seen those like dwarf potted varieties? They're like full of like bright red clusters of tomatoes, but they're like smaller than this. No, I haven't. Yeah. I tried something like that in my arrow garden. Yeah. And it didn't work very well. They just like went all over the counter and didn't have much yeah. fruit. I saw a squash yeah. on your plant that looks ready. Yeah. I just discovered that yesterday. I'm That's so, so oh my gosh, you have a big one over there. And then you've got, I saw that one. You know, the thing is, you have they, a big one. The thing is, yesterday it wasn't, it was like half that size. That's amazing. Yeah. We do well here with zucchini. Yeah. You've I've got always done well with beans. One here, a big one there. And then what size do you prefer to harvest them out? Oh, I like a small. That, it, that's got to be harvested immediately. Mm, yeah. I like some pruners out here later. Yeah. I harvested one that was about this size in my garden when I was back home. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, they're so good when they're young. So what is your favorite plant to grow? In the garden to eat? Yes. Um, definitely sugar snap peas. Mm. Because you can plant them so early 
and they're just so good. Yes. The problem is the harvest is sort of all at once, all in one week. Yes. But I love those. Those are Jack's favorite too. Yeah. Yes. He'd be like, Mommy, I want to go get snap peas, and he just yeah. goes pulls them off by himself. Yeah. So yeah. cute. And my yes. favorite non-food would be definitely zinnias because mm. they come up. <laughs> yes. I <laughs> really so enjoyed those in my garden too. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. What are your go-to gardening tools that you can't do without? Well, I don't know what they're called. Okay. One is a little skinny shovel and one is like a hoe that has like a horseshoe shape. Okay. We'll go check those out. <laughs> So my favorite tools are this. Oh, I've not seen one of those. I got it at Aldi's of all places. Ah. And I was looking for one. I love Aldi. They have a lot of dandelions uh -huh. and root weeds that have deep roots. Mm -hmm. And these are so nice because you could just you can just get down in there and get the roots, the whole thing out. And you have nice. to deal with it twice. Yes. And then this thing is great for weeding if your soil is loose. Okay. This is something they have at Walmart. Yeah. The thing is you have to sharpen it every now and then. Yeah, my parents had one of those. I need to get one. I don't yeah. have one. Then this is not a tool, but it is awesome. It's called mm. Yardsmith. And um, I use it a lot to kneel on or to sit on, like if I'm trimming a rose bush or something. Mm -hmm. So I like that. That's awesome. Yeah. And yeah. that's it. Those are my favorites. Cool. It works. Yeah, that's it works. That's enough. Yeah. More. Yes. More compost is always good. Hey. Yeah, Kate has them too. We saw a lot of them on the, the blueberry bushes when we went blueberry picking earlier. So what is this? Is this a peach tree? This is a peach tree that only has a very little... <laughs> amount of peaches left. This peach tree is 20 some years old and they're so cute. Yeah. We used to never get the peaches until we put them in the fence. We think the critters ate them. Mm, that makes sense. Yeah, the peaches are always good. And you got the comfrey growing underneath it. There is a robin. He's eating all my blueberries. Yeah, we put comfrey under it. Some guy from an extension office said it's good for the trees, so. Cool. I had a pile of comfrey. Yeah, I've read that somewhere too. Yeah. So and these are Japanese beetles. Cherry tree, but it looks like the looks like the Japanese beetles are going to destroy it. Wreaking havoc. Yeah. Yeah. De. Diatomaceous earth. Only it's been so rainy. I'll just I know. Wash it anything right I put on it gets rid stuff. Yeah. The rain. The apples look full. Like you got a good a good bit of apples. The blueberry orchard had some apple trees too, but they didn't have any fruit on them. Sprayed at all, so yeah. Do you know what like the particular spray is for apple trees? I don't. I don't want to use any spray. That's my problem. So the consequence is no fruit. <laughs> yeah. It might be better. I've tried some of that Gardens Alive stuff on whatever in years <laughs> gone by, and it's done well, but I just can't keep up with it. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah, especially with these old trees. This one I think looks better than that one. You got some yarrow too. That's cool. I do. Oh, or yeah. yarrow. Right here. Yeah. These white flowers are yarrow. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Oh. That's a good thing to know. Yep. I've been finding it wild everywhere. Mm. So that peach tree finally just died. Sad. Last year it had about five or six good peaches on it. and then oh, it This up. one's got a lot of apples on it. Too. Apples are ready in the fall? Yeah. These won't be ready till September, October. Okay. Ooh, Jesse is leaning on me. And then these, somebody on my Facebook thing said, does anybody want any blackberry bushes? Oh, wow, that is digging. so tall. So we dug a bunch of them, and, like, this one is the healthiest one, but it got blown over by a storm. But oh, it man. But wants to have berries. Oh, yeah, that's a ton of berries. Yeah. Gosh. And then some of them don't look like they're going to make it, but at the minute I think, oh, this is dead, look at the bottom. Yeah, it's all green. Yeah. So I don't know if I should cut those off now or wait till the fall. Yeah, I don't know. That's yeah. so cool, though. There's that one over there and that one and this one. So someday this will be. And these are brambles. Uh -huh. So I guess you're supposed to take this and then and put stick it, it in the ground. Cover it up and I'll start a new plant. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. So, yay. Yeah. Well, hold on a second. We have a um, where's your go to for your gardening supplies? Like plants, seeds, tools? Well, we have a really nice local feed mill, and yeah. they have a lot of things. I like their seed. It's actually not in packages. It's in, 
It's in like a jar. Uh huh. And you have to. Uh, you get it by weight. Measure it out by the ounce. You get an ounce of seeds, and you have like way more than you could ever use. Yeah. yeah. I love that. But this year, I got a lot of my vegetable seed just from Home Depot because they had an heirloom variety. Nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Non-GMO and all that. That's yeah. Awesome. Yep. Cool beans. It is so pretty. This plant I won't touch because it's got poison ivy in it. You see those beautiful leaves? That's poison ivy. Is Wait. It? Is that poison ivy? Let's see. Somewhere in there is poison ivy. It's not, that's poison ivy, isn't it? Yeah, that's poison ivy, and that's what that is. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I don't go near this plant. Yes, no bueno. Yeah. I don't think I've had poison ivy in a really long time. I don't know if that's just because I've avoided it or if I'm not allergic. It grows well where you live. Oh, it does. Oh, does it? Yeah, we have oh. a big patch of it in our backyard behind oh, the fence. Nasty. We There's never one go. Thing I will use a nasty toxin on. Yep, poison ivy. Yeah. Come here, Jesse. Being a goober. He's so wiggly. Yes, he's, he's such a wiggly trying one. to climb up me. You're he's a such goober. A boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So that's basically it. Yeah. Do you have any short and sweet? Oh. Gardening wisdom nuggets that you would like to share before we close the video out. Oh boy. I guess it would be it's not always about the results. Sometimes it's about the experience. But it really is amazing to watch things grow. Yeah. Whether you want them to or not. <laughs> yes. It's a it's a testimony to the amazing creator. Indeed. Yeah. What's the matter, Jess? Well, thank you for letting me interview you in your garden. Yes. Happy gardening. Happy gardening, everybody. <laughs>